Hey everybody, in this video we are going to find the exact value of the expression cosine of 16 pi over 3. So in order, if you're this far in your trigonometric journey, you should already know the fundamentals of the unit circle if you are on that struggle bus. Please see the end of the video. There will be a thumbnail to bring you to a full explanation of how to build the unit circle. If you need that, please, please, please watch it. Um, I think it's about 15 minutes and I like fully make it from scratch. If you watch it in double speed, that's about seven and a half minutes of your life. It might be time well spent, okay? So we are going to find in this particular case, the cosine, which is the X value of a coordinate up on the unit circle, the cosine of the angle 16 pi over three, which is also too big if you think of only knowing between zero and two pi. So what are we going to do from here? Well, I'm glad you asked. What we're going to do is we're going to just sketch out. You might draw a circle. You might only draw a little plus sign. You need to watch your spacing. It needs to kind of be to scale or you're not going to associate the angle. This is an angle 16 pi over three. This is not the sine. This is not the cosine. This is not the X. This is not the Y. This is an angle measure. Common people like to answer like, what's the sine of this cosine of that? People are like 16 pi over three, five pi over three. No, no, no. Those are angles. It's not the sine. It's not the cosine. It's not an X or Y coordinate. Okay. So I need to find where 16 pi over three is. We have to have an idea of spacing. This is zero pi over three. I'm gonna use the denominator three. That makes this spot, which is normally pi, three pi over three. That makes going around again, this spot is six pi over three. Going around again, that makes this spot nine pi over three. Now you don't have to keep hitting this spot. I might go around, hit six, go all the way around a second time. That puts me at 12 pi over three. Maybe I go around another six. That means that this is also gonna be coterminal with 18 pi over three. Now I know I'm too far. How far back do I go? If I go back three, well, that's 15 pi over three. 16, 17, 18, do you see it? So whatever your denominator is, you double it. That's how many flower petals your flower has. So what do I mean? My flower is gonna have six petals because of the three. That means three petals on top, three petals on bottom. That's what we're counting. So one, two, three pi over three, four, five, six pi over three. What a pretty flower, okay? Seven, eight, nine. This is ridiculous to count like this, but if you want to, okay? 10, 11, 12 pi over three. Sorry, my hand's kind of in the way. 13, 14, 15, 16 pi over three. There we go. It's going to terminate right there in quadrant three. The location, if you are familiar, the angle close to the X has a denominator of six. The angle closest to the Y has a denominator of three and the one in the middle is the denominator of four. So we're talking about this one over here that's a bit closer to the Y axis, okay? So what does that tell you about your reference triangle? Well, to make your reference triangle, you always connect up to the X axis. So we're looking at a triangle that looks something like that right over there. We go left a little. If you need a further explanation on what I mean by a little or a lot, go to the video, like I mentioned before, that I will link at the end of this video and then come back here. Left a little and down a lot. So these are the numbers that I'm going to be thinking of as they relate to the XY coordinate of where my terminal side intersects the unit circle. So the X and the Y coordinate is really negative one half comma negative root three over two. Well, what else do we need to know? You need to know that the cosine is corresponding to the X coordinate. What does that tell us? Final answer is negative one half. Now, would this take me this long? Absolutely no, absolutely not. I'm gonna to say to myself 16 pi over three. If it's over three, I'm over a little, up a lot. Cosine's the little, so it's either one half or negative one half. You're already down to 50, 50. 
Now I just gotta figure out where it is. If it lands in either of these two quadrants, my x, my left, is negative. If it lands in either of these two quadrants, one or four, it's to the right or it's positive. And that's all there is to it. You gotta know where it lands. Have to know about your reference triangle. A lot of information, all ties together for the course, for, for the, the subject of trigonometry. So I hope you have connected some dots just now. I hope that you are able to use what has been figured out here, or maybe you can contribute in the comment section on the bottom. If you don't think you could get a question like this right on your own, put a thumbs down, let me know. But if you feel fairly confident, put a thumbs up and click through for the next example. I hope you're feeling a little bit smarter after this video. Adios.